In this video, we're going to look at how to determine the electric field from a surface charge density using Gauss's law. First, we will define the charge density, volume charge density, as a surface charge density times a delta function. We will draw out, in this case, this is the charge density of an infinite plane which I will draw out as like this. Now of course this plane points goes outward in all directions but I can't draw an infinite plane on a sheet of paper so this, is, this will do it quite well. Now the electric, since this has a surface charge equally in all directions, by symmetry we can say that the electric field must be coming off this way, equally, um, homogeneously. Likewise, it's coming off in the opposite direction on the other side as well. The, in order to, now, to start this problem, we'll first write out Gauss's law, which is volume integral rho volume over epsilon naught equals surface integral of uh, the electric field dot area element. These are both vectors. Now, the real trick in solving these problems is determining the correct Gaussian surface to use. In this problem, we have a, a, white, a wide variety um, freedom in picking the kind of Gaussian surface. I'm going to pick a simple one, a, just a circle, pillbox, we call it, as long as it goes out on the other side. Well, that's the, whereas where it penetrates our surface so that the amount, this way we have the volume, our volume will integral, our volume integral, will be this, or simply we can say that it's the charge density times area. Since this is charge per area, this is area, and the charge is distributed uh, homogeneously, evenly, then to find the total charge we can write sigma a. And we don't have to actually evaluate the integral itself. Over epsilon naught. Can't forget that. Now set this equal to the, now the electric fields coming off on both sides. So on this this surface right here, we can write the electric field times A. Now what about the other side? Well, in this case the, the surface right here has it, it, the, the surface element is oriented this direction, pointing out, and the electric field is point oriented pointing out. So once again we have E times A. Notice it doesn't matter what A is. A is in each term, we can divide it out. We could have even done a more bizarre shape if, if we really wanted to. It doesn't matter. Because as long as the area is the same for each, for this surface, the the cross section and the far side, and that it displays the proper symmetry, namely that it's a constant has a constant cross section shape. Then it doesn't. Then the Gaussian surface doesn't matter. What matters is that these that the two end surfaces and the cross section are identical. Now I say this because this surface does not matter. 
the, uh, the, the outside, the lateral um, surface. See, because the electric field is going in this direction, which is perpendicular, now it's parallel to the surface itself, perpendicular to the area element, that means that whatever we integrate this to be, it's going to be zero at every point. So the area L, the area integral of the edge will be big fat zero. Now, in order to evaluate our electric field, we need to simplify. So we get, we divide A out of both sides, sigma over epsilon naught equals 2e. The electric field equals sigma over epsilon naught. Where's the 2 go? The 2 goes right here. Sigma over 2 epsilon naught. What direction does it point? Well, it points in the, since this, since our boundary right here, our surface, where our charge is, is z equals 0, that must mean that this direction is the z hat direction. And likewise, this is the negative z hat direction. Now, so our electric field will point in the, it has this magnitude. If z is greater than, z is greater than zero, our electric field will be positive sigma or two epsilon z hat. If z is less than zero, the electric field will be negative. All negative means is direction. But since this is a vector, all negative means is that it's pointed that way. That's all that it means. It has quite the same magnitude. Z hat. With Gauss's law, when it works, makes our life very, very easy. And that's typically the situations we save it for.